Hi, welcome to this Power BI video. My name is Ahmed Oilo. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can create an email address for publishing your reports into the Power BI service. I'm sure you are aware that Power BI doesn't allow you to publish anything using a personal email address. So all personal email providers like Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Outlook and any other personal email provider as such uh, is not allowed for signing up to Power BI service. So you always get an error that you can either use a work email or a school email for publishing or for signing up to the Power BI service. So where you don't have a work email and you don't have a school email, one thing you can actually do is to sign up to Microsoft 365 Developer Account. A Microsoft 365 Developer Account is going to provide you with a Microsoft email that you can use with Power BI. It also comes with so many other benefits that you are going to see later in this video. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to do a Google search right now for Microsoft um, Microsoft 365 developer. Then I'll just click on the first link. I'm going to drop this link um, in the descriptions. Then I'm going to click on join now. So for signing in, you can either use uh, any personal email that you already have associated with any Microsoft service or you can just create a new one. So once you have your email, click on next. Then provide your password to sign in. Here I'm sure many people using personal email addresses will most likely not remember their passwords. Then you have a form to complete and you want to fill in your details accurately here. Of course, you need to accept the terms. Then click next. Now here you also have to choose one of these options. So what's your primary focus as a developer? So I'm going to advise that we should choose uh, personal projects. Then click next. Then here, like I said, there are so many benefits that comes with Microsoft 365 developer account. So there's actually nothing wrong with ticking all of the options that we have here. Most importantly, make sure you tick Power Platform. Then I'm going to click on Save. Now, we have to choose one of these options for our sandbox. Okay, uh, I'm going to recommend that we go with Configurable Sandbox. And the reason why is because we can at least customize what the domain is going to look like uh, to a very large extent. So here you can choose configurable sandbox, then you click next. And then you can create your admin username and you can also uh, create a domain name now. Okay. So for my admin, I'm going to call this uh, Ahmed Teach. And then uh, for my domain name, I'm going to use uh, F. BI 2022. So you see, my email is going to come out as Ahmed Teach as. Okay, so that's not accepted. Uh, so let's use something else. So let's use our Foresight BI 22. Okay. So now this email address is going to be Ahmed Teach at Foresight BI 22 dot on microsoft.com then i have to create a strong password isn't it then i'm going to continue i 
then you need to provide your mobile number and uh, send confirmation code so once you get your confirmation code enter it right there and click on setup so this will take a while to to run we'll just chill for it now my setup is complete and i get uh that this is gonna expire on the 8th of june so now with this email i can basically start using this for publishing my power bi reports so there you have it and as you can see the developer account does expire what doesn't expire is your email okay i'm going to do a follow-up video on how you can actually start enjoying some of the benefits of using this your email as an administrator apart from that if you don't want this developer account to expire then you actually need to make use of it so that means you need to actually publish uh, real things into your power bi account into your power bi service account you have to publish uh, every now and then just to make sure that every three months you get to renew this subscription automatically now if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button and also make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel